shout out for female motorcycle racers all the way from Mitchell, South Dakota. My name is Laura, I'm 38 years old. I'm co-owner of Clockworks Custom Cycles here in Mitchell, South Dakota, home of the world famous Corn Palace. Looking for female racers. Well, we had the opportunity last year to build this beautiful bike for the Discovery Channel Biker Build Off. We put a crazy fast SNS motor in it and decided to take it to the Bonneville Salt Flats and prove that it's fast. That we can build a bike that you can ride down the street and race it at Bonneville. We were lucky enough as a team, with me as the pilot of this bike, to get an AMA National Land Speed Record. We're now into the whole racing scene 110%. We're going to be doing exhibition runs for the HDRA starting in June of this year, and we're also going back to Bonneville to defend our title. Brian Clock, the, the co-owner of Clockworks with me, proposed to me. Now we live together and we work together and we're together 24 seven, but we never talked about marriage. And the fact that we were all out there as a team and my daughters were there with us. And at the end of it all, after the land speed record and all the other great things that happened while we were there, um, in front of about 400 of our new closest friends, Brian proposed to me, which gets me to the tattoo that I'm proposing for the Miami Ink Show. Before we left for Bonneville, Brian had made some stickers that had pic the picture of my two daughters and I on them, and it said three girls versus the world. And I couldn't believe that he, he would understand that to a point that he'd go have those stickers made, and I had them on the saddlebags of the bike. Um, the number that I race under is 333, and that happens to be my youngest daughter's favorite number. So the tattoo that I'm thinking of has a, a lot more meaning to it than than some of the other ones that I have right now. I have one really special one on my wrist that's a star. It's a small star, but it's, it's a symbol that I allowed my 16-year-old to get the same star on her 16th birthday. And to us, it's a reminder. We, um, before we ended up in South Dakota, we had a loss in our life that really changed our life. But we always try to put everything into perspective. And if that loss hadn't happened, we wouldn't have ended up here and we wouldn't be where we are now. We wouldn't have had the chance to become racers or we wouldn't have had the opportunity to be around creative people and part of such a great team. So this star on our wrist is a reminder that no matter what's thrown at you in life that you should handle everything with grace. And no matter what, whether you're angry, sad or upset, that you should always shine. So it's a special reminder that my daughter and I have. and. Um, my 13-year-old is waiting until she turns 16 so she can get hers too. The other tattoos that I have, I've made all the same mistakes that other people have made as far as not thinking it through and that's why the one I'm presenting to you is, is something I've really thought about and that I'm really looking forward to developing. Um, I, have, I have a cover-up on my back, I have one on my stomach that started out as a small butterfly and turned into more after a few sessions. And I have my armband that's kind of small and it's getting a little faded. It probably wasn't the best quality when I started out, but definitely the one I'm talking about that I'm going to tell you about is one that um, I want to be proud to wear and I want it to be visible because it's, it's something, the story is something I'm really proud of and that I'd love to share to people if they happen to ask me what my tattoo means. The tattoo that I'm thinking of is something that represents three, whether it's three stars or three hearts or, or if I'm lucky enough to have Cat do portraits, maybe it's a portrait of my daughters and I, but something that represents three bonded together, wrapped together tight because believe me, my daughters and I, the journey that we've had is one of, one of a lot of love and a lot of loss and they've saved my life many times so they're really important to me. I'd like to go on my arm right here. It can be almost a half sleeve up over my shoulder. I really am completely open to artist interpretation. You guys are the best at it and I'm absolutely would be proud for you to take my story and make a graphic representation of it. I want it to be visible which is why I'm looking at my arm and I want it to represent the bond of three, the bond of my daughters and I and now plus one with Brian. So an image that demonstrates three plus one. So hey Miami Inc, I hope you enjoy the story and thank you very much for the chance to tell it. Catch you on the road, <laughs> if you can catch me. <laughs>